Hi guys, Lenny42 here, and um, as soon as I found out about the bot building um, skill and the profession that comes with it, the first thing I thought of was um, creating a Tony Stark sim to properly debut this um, brand new skill and profession because, I mean, hello, he wrote the book on bots <laughs> um, and also on against technology, if you think about it. Um, and there's also a portal for him to jump into and go to a different, you know, I mean, it's just, it really just screams um, Tony Stark. And uh, so I didn't create one because I actually suck at create a sim, but I found one um, created for me by a friend, and um, I also found this house. This is on um, the exchange. I like to call it the Stark Mansion. Um, it was created by a R Rihanna Li, and um, I just, all I did was a little bit of interior redesigning. I added a bunch of in, Into the Future stuff. I added the um, the hot tub and the trampoline. Um, and I kind of just, you know, took out some cars, put in different cars, just little stuff here and there. No big, dramatic change. Um, it's a beautiful house, and I put it in Lucky Palms because I really believe that it's the best backdrop for the um, Stark Mansion and I'm just really kind of getting my feet wet in the uh, bot building. This is a brand new sim. Tony doesn't have any bot building skills whatsoever. He doesn't have any skills at all, period. Um, even though there is a bot living with him, Prototype 009, was not created by Tony. Um, he's actually what I like to call a house bot. And the reason I, or sorry, she, she's what I like to call a house bot. And the reason I dub that name is because uh, she's a still chef, she's a handy bot, um, and she's got the competent cleaner. Uh, not really getting into gardening and as, as uh, Tony doesn't really have any kids. That's why the Robo Nanny and uh, Robo Gardener are not on here, but I feel like those trait chips kind of work in with a house bot because they're taking care of your house. <laughs> so it's like a housekeeper, but you know, a bot. Um, okay, so let's just jump right in and start playing. I'm. Hopefully, huh, he has to take a nap, he's tired, why, we just started, really, okay, how about you come to the kitchen and get some synthesized food, have some breakfast, let's get some, uh, an omelet, now the one skill that's so hard to build in this game is the advanced technology skill. And that's because it's, there's no book for it. Um, there's no like, like there's no simple, just have them do this for the next five to 10 hours. And you know, they'll gain the skill thing to do for the advanced technology. You just have to use the um, objects that come with the game and whatnot. And that's, so, so it's hard to build that skill up and um, so what I'm going to do what I find is the easiest way to build the skill is to get your sim the hoverboard because you use it instead of walking and as they use it more they start actually using it in the house up the stairs um, and obviously uh, around town so, which is great, which is kind of what we want, because, um, they won't use the cars, but they will, uh, 
gain that skill a little bit faster, which is kind of what we're going for here. Oh my gosh, the Pompot voices are so cute. And while he's eating, why don't we take a cursor look around this house, huh? Um, so yeah, like I said, it just added a few things, like this chess table right here, which came with Into the Future. The synthesizer, interesting uh, tidbit about the synthesizer, you don't actually need um, a fridge or a cooker, I mean a stove, you don't actually need a fridge or stove or dishwasher really if you have the synthesizer because it will um <laughs> really <laughs> that's funny um it, it will um, wash your dish for you which i think is cool um since we have him here in robot mode or i just want to um kind of go over this new trait that comes with into the future it's called the bot fan trait um and it looks like this your sim will gain the bot building skill at an accelerated rate the plumbot outfit can be donned by your sim your sim is more adept at using the bot building station now another thing that you get with this um bot fan <laughs> trait and also with this uh, robot mode which they don't tell you in the descriptions is that you can take your sim and as long as you've activated the um the bot fan your sim will be able to go into i can find where i put it will be able to go into the bot arena ah there it is and that's not it that is the gallery Huh, I swore I put the bot arena down somewhere, but I can't seem to locate it. I have the, the casino. I just, I really, <laughs> I feel like I had to do it. Um, huh, I guess I didn't put it down. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Um, so, yeah, so what it doesn't describe what it doesn't give you in the description um, is that your your sim, when robot form is activated, can actually go into the bot arena and compete against other plumbots instead of just you know sending your own plumbot. So that's a nice um, addition to this uh, trait. If you're you know scrapped for some cash and you've got this bot fan trait, just head over to the bot arena and just grab a couple hundred thousand simoleons, depending on how good your sim is. Um, but let's go back to organic mode, because he's cuter that way. And we're going to head downstairs and take a look at, you know, the Tony Stark basement. The Stark basement where all the magic happens. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Awesome, right? All right, let's place this bad boy down here. And yeah, I love this basement. Um, I move some things around out of the bar and uh, pretty much all the IKEA stuff and the not so routine machine that was graciously gifted to me by Aussie Mail. Thank you so so much you awesome individual you. Um, so yeah I have I think I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to add at this time and I'm gonna have him come down here and design some night nights. The great thing about this um bot workshop station building thing is you've got like a bunch of steps you got to first design the nanite which teaches you how to design nanites um and then you've you've got to create nanites that you've just learned to design 
you also have to learn how to design trait chips. And then after, you can then create trait chips. So you've got five steps. Design the nanites, design the trait chips, create the nanites, create the trait chips, and then create the plumb bot. And that comes out of this big round egg looking thing here. And then when you have the plumb bot, you have to click on the plumb bot to add the trade chips that you created using the nanites because the recipe of a trade chip is kind of like the recipe for foods or an um, alchemy, what is that thing called? Or an uh, alchemy elixir or even pretty much any other thing that uses uh, recipes and ingredients. Okay, so he learned how to create the quantum nanite. Let's go ahead and build one of those right now as well. He wants to design trait chips. So after we build this, we're going to design um, trait chips. And this um, this skill is pretty involved, and he's learning it really fast. But that's because of the bot fan trait. Let's go ahead and look in the journal. Um, a bot builder is a tinker at heart who's capable of building everything from simple mechanical nanites to complex sim-like plumb bots. It'll take time and practice before Tony is ready to build advanced plumb bots. But even a novice can design or create trait chips and nanites to get started. So he hasn't done anything. So he's got no created nanites, no discovered trait chips, no created trait chips, no tips earned from tune-ups. What? Tips earned from tune-ups? Huh. Um, I guess maybe when you're in Oasis Landing and you see like a random uh, plumb bot and you introduce yourself... You also have the interaction of offering to tune it up. And I guess then it also can pay you. That'd be cool to check out. We'll definitely look that up and see um, what it's like to be tipped from tune-ups. And number of bots created and number of bots sold. He's done nothing. Let's look at the challenges. Domo arigato, Mr. Plumbato. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Earn at least 5,000 simoleons from performing tune-ups. As a result, the well-tuned moodlet will last longer after performing a tune-up. Okay, so I guess we really do have to tune up the plumb bots in Oasis Landing. Um, Micro Master. Create at least 200 nanites to become a Micro Master. Once achieved, the cost of creating all nanites is halved. Huh. It just cost him 22 simoleons to make um, this nanite that he's currently making, which means that if he creates 199 more, it'll cost him $11. Huh, that doesn't seem like much of a... But I mean, I guess if you're going to create 200 more nanites, then it would be worth it. Um, chipping in. Chip in by discovering 21 different trait chip recipes. After chipping in, all purchases at the bot shop will be 25% off. Now that is a challenge and reward I can get behind because I really feel like we're going to be buying a lot of stuff from the bot shop. So he's going to have to learn those 21 trait chips fast. All right. I'm really excited about this um, new skill and profession. And I'm going to send him, after he designs a trait chip, I'm going to send him down to the um, to City Hall and register as a self-employed bot builder. He's designing a trait um design yeah he's doing the design trait chips interaction and he was able to learn how 
to create um, a tray chip and it's just it's gonna pop up what the recipe is and everything like that okay I know the competent cleaner tray chip just needs one nanite to build it so we'll be able to do that since he already created a nanite Ooh, create a plumb bot it's gonna be me a bit harder I don't think we're ready to create a plumb bot um he's at a level right now that if he does create one it'll probably be a really low quality one like a fragile one or one that's kind of duct taped together and the only way you can rise your quality is by performing a bunch of tune-ups. I think it's just better to spend more time um, designing nanites and designing tray chips to build up that bot building skill and then create a plumb bot that'll come out you know, at a higher quality level. So you spend less time tuning it up, more time putting in tray chips, and then you'll be able to sell it faster for more money. Because after all, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to be selling phone box. And he's going to have to um, find, buy, or create the sentence tray chip so that we can put it inside of one of the phone box, whichever one he wants to keep. And that'll give him the, um, the Pioneer of Plumbots Legacy Statue which I think is perfect for Tony Stark. I also want to get him the philanthropist um, statue as well, because, I mean, he's also a philanthropist as well as the leading um, knowledge on, you know, all things plumbot or bot. So, but to get that legacy statue, the philanthropist legacy statue, I need to go to the future, look at the lotto records, and win, come back and um, play, buy a ticket, and win the lottery. I feel like that's kind of cheating, you know? I wish that um, I could get the statue by just donating money without having to win the lottery as well. But I'm not the one that comes up with the rules. EA is. Yes, please. Self-employed bot builder. If you love to tinker with bots all day, there's nothing better than being a bot builder. The hours are flexible and there's no shortage of simoleons to be made. <sighs> Master your craft and you'll be famous for building the best bots in town. Responsibilities for this career. Create nanites and trade chips and then sell them to earn simoleons. Create plumb bots, then sell them at the bot emporium. Do you want to register? Yes, we do. And <laughs> now he wants to throw a party. He needs 75 to... Um, move on to the next level. Now, the easiest way to do this is really just kind of jumpstart the first couple of levels by um, selling, by creating a, a bot, fixing it up and selling it for a couple grand. But I want to go step by step on this. So we're going to start from scratch. We're going to start by selling nanites then selling trait chips, then actually start, start selling phone box. And um, it's going to be tedious. It might take a little while, but I really feel like that's the best way to properly showcase this new profession. And in the meantime, he's going to learn. I'm actually tired of watching him learn this slowly, so I'm going to cheat. 
and go into um, Master Controller and kind of just bump it up a little bit. Let's give him an advanced technology of five. Let's start off with five. He can learn the rest, but letting all ten just on a freaking hoverboard, that's insane. Now we can go up the stairs. Okay, so yeah, we, we created that nanite, and so now he can use it to create this trait chip. Um, he needs to use the bathroom. Now, I can, uh, I can go in here to his inventory, scroll down to this, um, and sell it. I'm not going to do that because you'll actually make more money from signing it at the bottom podium. So, let's see, he wants to fly around. You don't know anyone. How can you throw a party when you don't have any friends? Which brings me to what I really want to do. I want to take him to the Bot Emporium. There is a Bot Workshop machine there, so um, he'll be able to make some more nanites and trade chips, but he'll also be able to meet people. Because as awesome as his house is, it'll get boring and lonely. Except, of course, if I make him use the dream pod to dream about... <laughs> strangers or you know talk to mariana so let's have over um to the bottom podium and see what we can see and see what we who we, who we can meet who we can flirt with and what he can build and sell Now, the Bot Emporium in Oasis Landing has, you know, the um, futuristic cars and the parking lot, and it's got plumbots kind of sometimes just hanging around, and it has a plumbot who, you know, mans the station because it's bots selling bots. But when you put it in your actual town in the present, none of those things are there. It's actually a human being manning the station and so on and so forth because there are no future cars here and there are no plumbots here either. So um, I'm gonna send them over here to um, look at what they have for sale because they have um, crystals for sale sometimes and so you kind of need those for um, specific trait chips and if you're not in the future where you can go harvest some, um, you really need to buy it here. And then we're going to meet this lovely lady, Nicole, because he doesn't know anyone. <laughs> now, I'm all for cheating when it comes to advanced technology or some other skills that I just don't want to spend the time to learn, but I will advise you not to cheat when it comes to getting um, the bot building skill. It's like the alchemy skill. You want to um, gain this skill by actually figuring out the trait chip recipes and like designing different nanites because it'll come in handy later. You're going to have to do it either way, so you might as well you know, do it while you're learning the skill. Um, they have some nanites here that he doesn't know yet. I'm going to buy them, not because I'm going to sell them, but because I want him to reverse engineer them. And when you reverse engineer a nanite, you get, um, processors out of it, and then you know how to 
you know, design that nanite as well. And you also have trait chips here and also the bot building box. Um, not going to buy trait chips from here. I want him to kind of build his own. Um, and since he doesn't really know how to build these ones anyway, they're not really helpful apart from putting them into a bot. But he hasn't created a bot yet, so it's not really going to be helpful either way. And we're going to consign that competent cleaner that he just built. Now, I know you're supposed to consign things at the consignment store at specific times, like around 2.30 p.m., and then you'll get more out of it. But that's not my main concern right now, because I kind of want to go slow. Um, let's see. He is designing nanites, so he's trying to find some, figure out some more nanite recipes, which is great. He's also really hungry. I wonder how high his bot skill level has to be to be able to reverse engineer these guys. Um, <laughs> dream about rushing water? I think not. Okay. So, he's met some people, done some flirting, and it's time to go home. I'm going to end this here, and we'll pick up later with him tomorrow. Hopefully, he would have sold the uh, competent cleaner and be one level ahead in his job profession, whatever word you want to use for that. And we're going to continue designing nanites and designing trade chips. Like I said, this is kind of a teaser because um, I really wanted to show off, you know, the Stark mansion, to be completely honest with you. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks great in, with um, Lucky Palms behind it. And I think that... Um, just playing Tony Stark is pretty cool too. Another thing, actually, I'm gonna stop him right here. Um, another thing that I added um, into this Tony when I um, downloaded him, because I think it's absolutely necessary, um, is his little. I don't even know what it's called. It's that thing that he uses to, you know, like keep the shrapnel away from his heart and to power the Iron Man suit. Oh, what do you yeah, 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 you're hungry. Move on. And you're tired. Move on. Spin. Thank you. So, yeah, that's it right there in the middle. And I think it just kind of rounds out, just you know, Tony and everything else. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to show Stark Mansion and also just give people the idea. You know, we've got the bot building skill, we've got the portal, we've got the um, into the future advanced technology stuff. I mean, I feel like if you've been waiting to play Tony Stark, this is literally the best time to do so. So go for it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Any 42 here, showing you a little Tony Stark tease. 
I'll continue playing because I actually really enjoy playing him. And um, we'll see what happens. So hit that likes button, that subscribe button, put a comment down there. Um, <laughs> let me know you're actually watching this. Happy Sunday.